Hi, I'm Rich, and what we have here is a quick uh, little tutorial on how to override an irritating color problem that I have with the circuit simulation program LT Spice. Now, for those people who haven't used it, LT Spice is a uh, circuit analog circuit simulator by Linear Technology, now Analog Devices, and it's used for a lot of very powerful circuit simulation things and I use it quite a bit. It's a great program, it's free, and it's got a lot of powerful features, um, but there is an irritation that we have. So let's take a look at that. So here we have in LT Spice a, a circuit that I'm working on at the moment. It's a it's a voltage boosting board um, uh, based off an op amp, and that's not the important part. Okay, but if we run a simulation of this, and we get this waveform viewer, and we plot something out, we click on something, and and, and we get a waveform coming out. That's no problem. The second waveform that we put in, however, is a really irritating color. This dark blue is very hard to read. And you can right click on it and change the color to something else if you'd like. But that's that's really quite irritating because it's the second color that you use. Comparing two waveforms is always kind of an, you know, something you do so commonly that um, uh, that you know it, it, it's it's basically in the way all the time. And uh, you know. You just can't see that that blue. So what we'd like to be able to do is change the actual color that is the second color. And, and that turns out to be something that's not documented anywhere, but I did find out how, and so that becomes uh, something that we're, that we're gonna work with. Okay. The key to this, we're gonna close this file. The key is in this file here. It's in your home directory under app data roaming and then it's called lt spice followed by a name which is the version of lt spice that you're that you're using in this case i'm using lt spice 17. this ini file can be brought up in notepad and it's got a lot of information on it it updates every time you save the program so the magic happens here in this section called colors and a few colors are of, of particularly interesting value wave color zero is the background color Wave color one is the foreground color, and then beginning with two, we start to get the actual, um, the actual colors that we want. Okay, so waveform color two is actually the first trace, second trace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and so the encoding of these is in decimal, um, but it represents an RGB value in in hex. Okay, so the offending one that we want is the second color, which is this guy right here. If we use Windows Calculator in programmer mode, then we can pull up the actual value represented by waveform, wave color three, which is 167, 11680. And in hex, you see that that's blue, all blue. So this is blue, green, and red. We know that because, and that's confirmed because this is green, wave color two which we could uh, say as FF00, right? We could have put leading ones. 00 blue, FF green, 00 red. And we get 65280, which is exactly what they printed here. Similarly, the third color, remember, was red and 255, which is just simply that, okay? So the format is blue, then green, then red. And that's the format that, that we uh, they work with in this, this particular one. I believe there might even be an alpha channel in here, but who knows. Anyway, the problem is number three. Okay. Which looks terrible. Ah. Which looks terrible. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of uh, bring down the saturation of it and also bring up the intensity as well by adding a little bit of red and uh, green to it, which will make it a paler but a brighter green, okay? And so we say FF full blue, 
And then let's give it half green. 80, 80, and half red. Okay. This value is here. And we can replace wave color three. Save the file. Open up LT Spice again. If I run my my thing, you see that nothing has basically changed. Run a simulation. Just takes a moment. First one looks good. And second one is this nice pale blue. Okay. So much easier to see. Maybe a little bit too much. We do have to shut down the program every time we do something. Uh, so maybe we'll try a little less there. FF, let's try half that. 4040. Four, zero. It was a little too, it wasn't blue enough for me. Okay. And we look for this in decimal, and this becomes our new wave color number three. Reopen LT Spice because it only does this once at a time. Simulate. There's our green and there's our blue. A little bit better. So somewhere probably halfway in between would be would be a nice a nice match. Okay. So uh, you can play with all of these colors if you'd like. You can change the schematic colors and you can do, you know, kind of cool stuff all over the place. Change the background color and whatever. But you do have to edit this file manually. And uh, it, it doesn't get overwritten. So, uh, or it, 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 it gets overwritten every time. But it does seem to remember your, your thing. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed this fairly quick thing on how to change the color of that irritating blue background in LT Spice. Thanks a lot for watching.